It's an exciting time to be working on the chemistry of rare earth elements. The rare earths are 17 elements, yttrium, scandium, and the lanthanides, and they're used in a lot of very important renewable energy applications. For example, hybrid electric vehicle batteries and large-scale wind turbine generators used for generating electricity all use rare earth materials. China currently holds 97% of the world's supply of rare earths elements, and in the last eight, 18 months, they have been reducing their export quotas significantly. This has had a chilling effect on the global rare earths market. Uh, the rare earths exist everywhere, uh, including domestically. One of the problems is that rare earths occur as composite mineral sources, either in terrestrial sources or in seafloor mud, and they have to be separated one from another in order to be used in their technological applications. We're studying rare earth separations and new rare earth complexes in the context of separations. One of the ways that we're doing that is using this electrochemical instrumentation integrated with this dry box. We make new rare earth complexes in this dry box and study their electrochemical, pro uh, electrochemical properties in the context of rare earth separations chemistry. With results from these studies, we hope to develop a new uh, rare earth separations chemistry for deployment in a domestic supply chain uh, to continue to contribute to renewable energy technology. I'm Eric Shelter, an assistant professor. This is my student, Jerome Robinson, and we're in the chemistry department at the University of Pennsylvania.